Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is John Imperial. Today I'll be sharing with you my experience using this LG 40 inch ultra wide monitor. It is the 5K 2K. If you guys haven't checked out my previous video, I highly suggest that you do so. I talked about the LG dual up monitor and I think that is worth considering. The LG 5K 2K monitor has a 39.7 inch screen, 21 by 9 aspect ratio, a resolution of 5120 by 2180, covers 98% of the DCI-P3 color gamut, supports HDR, 300 nits of brightness, 1001 contrast ratio, 5 millisecond response time, and 72 hertz refresh rate. And it has all the ports you'll need, including a 96 watt power delivery pass through via Thunderbolt, which you can use to power your laptops. The LG 5K 2K is great for everyday use. Having this much screen real estate is just awesome to have. This gives you the ability to configure the windows pretty much any way you want. For me, typically I have a one third, one third, one third configuration. I usually keep the middle window as my main window to do the main task that I'm trying to do. And then I have two windows on either side. So for example, if I'm writing a script, I have my notes open to the left for B-roll shot ideas, and then I have maybe a YouTube video onto the side that I'm referring to or Spotify. By having this kind of configuration, you get three really good sized windows that are more than enough for any everyday tasks you have. Although the texts are not as sharp compared to the MacBook Pro, it's actually good enough, especially since you're sitting at a good distance from the monitor. And I have no issues reading the text even at the default resolution setting. To make it easy to move windows around, I downloaded an app called Magnet and this allows me to, you know, manage my windows a lot better. Um, so for example, if I wanted to snap it on half of the screen, as you can see, there's this gray box right here, then I could just drag it onto the side and then I'll snap. I could also do top half kind of like that. But my favorite way of doing this is using shortcut commands. So I could do one third, one third, one third. I could even do one sixth of the monitor. I could do two thirds and then I could have another window right here. It just makes a big difference. And if you have a monitor this big, I highly suggest that you download that. You know, we all wish Apple just included this feature built in, but unfortunately that's not the case. When it comes to content creation, one of the most important things is to have a color accurate monitor and I find the LG 5K 2K to be somewhat similar to the LG Dual Up monitor. I think it needs calibrating. I wouldn't trust it right out of the box. I don't have a calibrator so I just pulled up my MacBook Pro right next to the 5K 2K and kind of just adjusted the colors a little bit but at the end of the day if I need to export something I make sure to check it first onto my MacBook Pro screen just to be safe. Before we proceed with the video, I just wanted to leave this cheat sheet right here to show you guys the equivalent. So when I say two thirds of the screen, it's about a 29 inch monitor. When I say half of the screen, it's about a 24 inch monitor. And then when I say a third of the screen, it's about a 20 inch monitor. Photo editing on this monitor is just as you would expect. You get a lot of flexibility. Working full screen can seem a little unnecessary. Sometimes you are left with two kind of like empty spaces on either side. For the kind of photos I take, editing two thirds make a lot more sense. Of course, if they're landscape, you don't have those two black bars on the side, everything is more utilized. And even shrinking it down to half of the screen is also doable. If you wanna edit on only a third of the screen, it's also doable. This screen right here, this viewer right here is about the size of an 11 inch iPad Pro. I use my iPad to edit my photos every now and then. And so that just tells you that this is a pretty good size window. When it comes to editing vertical photos, I personally think editing on one third of the screen is the way to go. Because even if you do half of the screen, you just get those black bars anyway. And that's mainly because you've already maxed out the vertical space. So going wider does not make sense. When it comes to video editing, the experience is pretty awesome. You get this massive viewer window. You have an awesome view of the timeline. So scrubbing through your clips, if you're making edits, it's just so nice. You can see a lot more. You don't need to zoom in and out too much. You have a decent view of the browser here and you can also leave the inspector open. Actually, I would even be comfortable turning on my vector scopes and really color grade in this manner. 
In fact, I could even shrink this down to only two thirds of the screen and still feel comfortable and not have to turn off some of my windows. Now, if I wanted to shrink it down on half of the screen, this is when it gets a little too small and I would highly suggest turning off some of the windows to compensate for that. When it comes to doing any kind of architecture work, I think this monitor is great. This will be at the top of my recommendations, mainly because like I said in my LG Duola video, most of my drawings are wider than they are taller. So even on the outside, when it comes to 3D models, they are wider than they are taller. And the extra horizontal space of this 40 inch monitor really just plays well with my architecture programs. So when I'm working on two programs at the same time, let's say AutoCAD and SketchUp, this is how I like to do it, 50-50. But if I'm focused on maybe just doing construction documents, I like having a two third window and putting it in the center and then having a one sixth window on the left and another one sixth window on the right. So I could have like Spotify here and a reference onto the left. And this is because I just want to look straight on. I don't want to keep looking left or right, especially if I'm working on a particular window for an extended period of time. So picture by picture mode comes built in with the monitor. So all you have to do is go under settings and then under input, you'll see a PVP mode, which stands for picture by picture. And then you just kind of have to configure it. It's really quick and easy. And after doing that, you can have something like my setup right here. I have my MacBook Pro connected and my gaming PC connected. If you want to use the KVM switch feature, you have to download a program called Dual Controller over on LG's website and you have to download it on both devices. After downloading the program, you'd have the capability to just hover over one side of the screen to another. So I can go from Mac to PC. I don't think you can see my mouse, so I'll just do that. Um, I could type LG 5K 2K 40 inch ultra wide. And mind you, I'm using a Mac keyboard and mouse and I am able to use it on the PC side as well, which is really cool. Um, so I could put up a website and if I want to go back to Mac, it's as easy as, like I said, hovering over and then I could open, let's say Spotify, maybe another Google Chrome for whatever reason. So hopefully you can see the potential in this monitor, right? If you have multiple devices, I think this is a really good option. I'm also not noticing any kind of delay, which is really good. So would I recommend this monitor? Absolutely. If you want a more seamless option, maybe you want to replace your side-by-side -side monitor, maybe you have a multiple device setup, you have a PC and a Mac, or you want to plug in your console and just use one monitor, this is great for that. One thing I would highly suggest is getting a monitor arm because this base takes up pretty much half of my desk and um, that's my biggest gripe about this monitor. So I know I've been praising the LG 5K 2K, but it's not all rainbows and butterflies. Unlike the LG Dual Up monitor, right? When I heard about that monitor, I was not excited about it. But after using it, I actually ended up loving it. When it comes to the LG 5K 2K, it's kind of the opposite. I was very excited about it, but after using this monitor for over two weeks, I think it's just a little too much screen for me, which is weird. I know a lot of people won't have that problem, but I think 34 inch ultra wide monitors are the sweet spot. I haven't tried a 38 inch. Maybe that's a good compromise. But yeah, this is one of those times where I thought that I would be more productive with a bigger screen, but I find myself like being distracted more, feeling a little bit more overwhelmed. I feel overstimulated. Now, that's not because this is a bad monitor. I actually would recommend this for most people. It's more about my use and the function of this space. Like I said, when I reviewed the LG Dual Up monitor, this space is designed in a very particular way. And this monitor just takes up so much of my desk. It cuts off a lot of my visual from the other side of the room. I think this monitor from a design perspective takes me a step farther from what I'm trying to achieve. And so I don't want to compromise that. That's something that's important to me. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of this monitor. Is this something that you would consider? And if you made it this far into the video, comment 5K 2K in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.